Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. This is a quick tip today. We had a question on the forum. Uh, Mahesh said, could anybody tell me how to auto hide multiple sheets through VBA? So you all know that you can right click and hide or unhide manually. So I'm going to unhide the only one that I have hidden. It's a crappy little budget sheet here. Uh, but as you see, I have four uh, sheets. They don't really amount to much. They're just practice, but you take the titles budget, customers, timesheets, or dog pick, and I'm going to show you that in any procedure, whether it's uh, the beginning of the workbook opening, or whenever you click somewhere, or whenever you deactivate a sheet anywhere, you can simply uh, hide multiple sheets by doing the same thing that you do for one. So we're going to hit Alt F11 to get to our Visual Basic e Editor. We're going to click here to the drop down and click on a new module, and we're just going to call this one Sub hide sheets and hit enter so here's our our sub that we're going to use so the code uh, typically is either active workbook or I'm going to say this workbook the the workbook that the macros are sourced from this workbook dot sheets and in quotes I'm going to put the name of a couple sheets that I want to hide whenever this macro runs so this workbook dot sheets budget dot visible equals and for right now I'll say false uh, once we declare this worksheet as a into a variable um, then we'll be able to see all the options and I'll show you that in just a moment but for right now let's copy and paste this line and let's change the name to another one so let's have customers and budget both hide whenever this macro runs very quickly now it doesn't matter you'll notice the capitalization right here and I have lowercase here it doesn't matter we're just using referring to the name and that is not case sensitive so let's go ahead and hit F8 just to simply step through our code so first the budget sheet goes visible equals false then you'll see the customer sheet if I hit F8 and then F8 to end the macro now you see that those two sheets are now hidden let's right click and unhide those and let's run the macro through all in one foul swoop. So if I hit F8 or if I click the little play button right here, excuse me, F5 to play this, I'm gonna, if you watch down here, you'll see that they'll both go away, F5, and they both became invisible. Now there's a couple other types of things that you can do. You can make it super invisible, which the average user won't even know how to unhide by right clicking, or you can uh, visible equals true. And let's go ahead and now I'll show you how to declare these as uh, variable. So we're going to just declare one uh, dim ws equal or excuse me as this we're going to declare this as a worksheet. We're going to tell it that ws means a worksheet. Then we're going to set ws equals and it's going to yell at me, but I would like to just copy and paste this. Control C, click here, Control V. So what we're saying here is whatever ws is in the future, we're, it's going to be a worksheet. And now we're going to say specifically WS in this instance is going to be the worksheet called budget. What that does for us is now we can take this and say WS dot. And you notice when I put a dot there, it starts giving me a listing of all the properties for WS because it happens to know WS is now definitely a worksheet. So WS dot visible equals false. Let's take this part away and hit the equals key. Now it knows that WS is definitely a worksheet. So the visible property has these three options now when I hit equals. So we could either make it hidden, we can make it very hidden, which I'll show you that now, or visible, which is the same as typing true. It would do the same thing. The sheet visible is the same as typing visible equals false. But you could also type equals XL sheet hidden or double click or hit tab right now. I want to show you the sheet very hidden really quick. So let's show you what this does. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F5. Now, on the surface, it looks pretty well the same, right? So, But when I'm going to right-click and unhide, you'll see that the only one listed is customers. Where's the fourth sheet? Well, it's listed as XL very hidden, which means the average user cannot restore that and make it um, visible. You are the only one who can make it visible using VBA code because at this point, uh, they cannot access it. So only they can see the ones that are on the visible list. And unhide is even grayed out. So if we go back to Alt F11 here, 
we do see that there are four sheet elements, or excuse me, sheet objects here, and a single instance of this workbook object. So how are we going to restore, what is it, budget? Uh, there's a couple ways. You can do it with VBA. You can do ws.visible equals true, or uh, whatever the um, XL option here was. You could also, uh, if you have access to the Visual Basic editor here, meaning it's not password protected or locked, and you can simply Alt F11 to get into here, then you can click on the whatever object you want, in this case the sheet called budget, and you can go down here where it says visible, the property is set to 2, which is the same as Excel sheet, very hidden, and you could simply change it to sheet visible. I, I, basically, I would actually just click here and double click on sheet, sheet very hidden, and it automatically goes to the next one looping back to the top which means that now budget is available to you that's how to hide multiple sheets uh, have fun with that if you have any questions uh, hit us up in the forum here and we'll talk to you next time